have today, which our first main topic today is this. We just had a chance to check out, I, like I was telling Lucas, I remember hearing this, hearing about this. Um, um, there was all this controversy about the Velma animated series because she was going to be a lesbian and this and that. Um, obviously, here, you know, at the channel, we could give a damn, um, you know, who what kind of person or or what gender of person Velma wants to have sex with honestly matters absolutely none to me. Um, and I'm pretty sure Lucas feels the same. Um, but, yeah. Uh, but yeah, so that, that being said, that never really affected us. But at that time, I, it was when it was first brought to my attention that there is this, you know, animated Velma series that's being made for HBO Max, which is interesting, right? Because right now they're dropping all of their animated stuff. They've you mean like Harley Quinn. shipping. No, no, not that. Um, uh, like Looney Tunes, oh, like Scooby okay, Doo, yeah. like um, the new Batman animated series that they had. They're, they shipped that to like Hulu or whoever. Um, but yeah, uh, so. Um, but yeah, that's when it was like first brought to my attention that it even exists, really. Um, I had, I'd heard something a little bit about it before, but you never know how these things are. Like you hear something and then, you know, like Channing Tatum playing Gambit, you know, <laughs> it's one of those things. And then all of a sudden tomorrow Channing Tatum's Gambit and it's like, wait, what? It, so um, it kind of crept up out of nowhere and we had a chance to check out the trailer for the new Velma series. I will say this. I want to start out by saying it did ask me like literally like six times. Are you sure this is mature content? Um, you must be of age. You must watch it on the app. You must so much shit um, for a trailer that was definitely not needing that many warnings in fact there was the one shot of the trailer where there's like a gruesome murder and they like censor it anyway yeah. uh so that was a little bit silly i don't know if that was like intentional maybe it was like it's a gag in itself but leading into it it made me think oh well, this is hbo and the and it's animated so this must be kind of gruesome like kind of like the boys um the diabolical series is mm -hmm. you know and I didn't really get that, but I still think we may get something like that. But this looks fun. It looks quirky. Um, it, I, I love Mindy Kaling to death. I love everything she does. Um, love Glenn Howerton. Uh, he had the one line that stole the, the whole trailer to me, which was him being serious about this disease where he can only recognize hot people. That, it was great. Um, and I knew I recognized the voice like immediately. He's like, I have a disease. I'm like, man, I know that voice somewhere. Like, it's, it's, it's uh, what's his character's name? Dennis. Uh, it's goddamn Dennis. Sickness. It's Dennis is who it is. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. So this looks fun. It looks quirky. Um, the thing I, I would say, just as a kid growing up, Scooby-Doo was my favorite. Um, so the thing that really got me into this was the idea that this is the story of how she, like Nick Fury, this situation. She got together the greatest group of investigators ever and i thought that was kind of cool i was like all right cool we're gonna get to see how this all came to be and i thought that was interesting um in itself but lucas you had a chance to check it out too what are your thoughts on the uh, new trailer for velma series on hbo max you know i just had one right as you said that was scooby in that trailer no definitely not i didn't think so no uh well okay anyway um interesting I, I wonder i'm sure that's gonna come back into yeah, it i mean sure. like there was that part where shaggy was like something about drugs you know what i mean right, like, right. i never do I, drugs right. so clearly <laughs> not yet you right. know what i mean but i'm sure we'll get to scooby there so otherwise the uh age appropriate thing i i thought that was weird too especially mm. with the they're not being that much gore. So now that we're, you were talking about the controversy, I'm thinking like, is it that? You know what I mean? Right. Like, and there wasn't much of that no. in it, but no, there some was a of spot it. where she kind of like holds mm -hmm. hands with Daphne, and they like a bunch of love hearts come out and stuff. Right. right. I'm pretty sure she. Like is crushing on Daphne in yeah, the series. For sure. That's and again, none to of that really fair, right. Yeah. That doesn't really if alter the way that I would, mm -mm. you know, want to see this if I would want to see it or not. Right. Now I haven't uh, seen the Harley Quinn series. 
Me neither, but I but hear great things. I do too. And it and honestly, I was getting that kind of vibe from it. Um, you know what I mean? Like, especially with how you know Harley Quinn and uh, Poison Ivy's romance now. Yeah, but and there that, wasn't like as that. much like cursing and stuff as I would expect it. In the trailer? In this, yeah. Compared to like yeah. Harley Quinn. That's fair. It's more R, like hard R. Yeah. Well, we'll see. This I kind mean, of we'll felt see. like it was trying to ride a line, did it not? It kind of did. Like especially it kind of could be for kids. Right. I mean, it didn't feel like if I had a 12-year-old that I'd be like, no. Like, I, you know what I mean? Right. It still sure. felt. I mean, kind of like, like the boys diabolical. Bit. Yeah. Or like invincible. Even. Yes. No. Yeah. No. My, my 12-year-old doesn't need to watch invincible. Yeah. No. Shit, there's yeah. some full grown men that don't need to watch that, you know? Yeah. I mean, Fair. I mean, once I found out Trevor hadn't seen it to the end, I was like, thank God. <laughs> <laughs> thank God. Um, thank God. Uh, Who knows what that would have bred, you know? No, nah, but, yeah, right. <laughs> anyway, uh, yeah, I think uh, Mindy Kaling is Velma. I, I, I love that. Yeah, yes, I think love that's that going to be great. Uh, Glenn Howard. Love Black I mean, Shaggy. I do too. Yeah. I, I think, I mean, I think, I think it's, it's got a great Rasta sure. Shaggy, right? <laughs> right. I think it's got a really great, like, setup and premise, and, and I'm really excited to watch it. I hope we get an episode where he becomes like Rastafarian, so he can, so he's just That's like he smoking, smoking yeah, everywhere, right. wherever he mm -hmm. can. And and again, if you're if you're doing it like this, then mm -hmm. I want to lean into that, right? I want well, back of did. the van like that '70s show style. Well, and they right, right no <laughs> like, you know what I mean? Like, well, they, and they kind of already <laughs> alluded to it, right? When they yes. were talking about that, what did yes. she say? She was like, uh, "It's co 420. Yeah, it's you know, 420 code for is. adults yeah. who still watch cartoons." Yeah, right, exactly. Which, right, right, right. You know, yeah, yeah. I can't say she's wrong. <laughs> right. Yeah, but I check it out. I will. I mean, it's I, not something I'll run out to see. No, but, but it's on HBO Max. I mean, I honestly, mean. like if it was out right now, I'd I'd be checking it out tonight because sure. really, there's really nothing out right but, now. You know, dude, I mean, it's like that '90s show. I kept saying I wouldn't run out for that '90s show, mm. but, but it comes else. out in you know in eight days. And what else is there to fucking watch? I'm gonna probably binge that '90s show in a night or two. That's the facts. Yeah. Um, this one was. January something, right? This year? Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. shoot. I yeah. thought it was or, or February something. Oh, Maybe it was February 13th. Yeah. Um, check it out. Look up the date. But, guys, <laughs> have you guys had a chance to check out this trailer for the new Velma series on HBO Max? What are you guys' thoughts on it? Do you... Um, do you think it's uh, something that you would be interested in seeing? Do you like the kind of adult-style uh, version of it that they want to go for? Uh, what does it got? What was? It's tonight. It releases tonight. It's tonight. Well, okay. it's January twelfth, twenty twenty three. So today is the eleventh. So it would be coming out tonight. I don't know when does HBO Max drop their their series. Uh, their well, what just depends. Like for us, when we would watch Euphoria, it would be at like eight o'clock. Like on, at night on the day of. Yeah. Okay. So so maybe it'll. We'll see. I mean, yeah. I guess we'll see. Yeah. So keep an eye out. But yeah, guys, um, but let me know if you checked it out and what you guys think. If you're interested in seeing it, definitely let me know your thoughts down in the comment section below.